Hi everybody, it's February 17, 2018. Tens of millions of Americans exposed to unsafe drinking water each year. Wow. The articles that I'm going to be working off of are articles within the last couple of weeks, except for one back in June 2016. And our water has become far worse. Water supply, water utility, utilities around the nation can't seem to give Americans safe drinking water anymore. What's going on? Well, having read Donald Trump's infrastructure plan, that 1.5 trillion infrastructure plan, which I will be doing a video on hopefully tomorrow, you know, for those of you who think that every regulation this guy, you know, puts into the garbage can, you've got to ask what regulation is he putting into the garbage can? What regulation is he taking away? Because some of the regulations you may not be happy with, like some regulations, the EPA regulations, that they Scott Pruitt wants to get rid of that will allow more toxic chemicals on your foods faster. Get that process. Get those chemicals out onto American foods. We want it faster. He's loaded the EPA with an awful lot of chemical crazy people. Um, but the, the infrastructure plan those of you who are happy, finally some president's going to be fixing the infrastructure, this collapsing, crumbling infrastructure, you need to, you need to not stop there and applaud this guy without understanding what it means. How is the infrastructure going to be fixed? Well, based on what my read has told me, it's in accordance with Agenda 2030, and it is, if he gets this plan approved, privatizing, privatizing our infrastructure, our water systems. And as I was reading these articles, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is deliberate. Um, water supply, water utilities can give us safe drinking water, and they just don't. Why? Why? All right. Well, we know they have a depopulation agenda. They want us sick and dead. All right. That's why it's loaded with toxins, our water. But is it also for Americans to get so fed up with their government, local, state, federal, these government utilities, these water supply companies, they just can't do it, so we've got to privatize it. Well, the infrastructure plan, Trump does want to privatize an awful lot. So Americans will just say, let the private sector do it, because clearly government, well, when we have an EPA that now they're protective guidelines, proposals, they want to allow higher levels of radiation in drinking water. All right, so many articles I read and I think to myself, <gasps> okay, where are Americans on this? What is their response to this? When they see this, do they not think about what they're reading? The EPA wants to allow higher levels of radiation in drinking water only during emergencies. <laughs> God. All right. Oh, so the EPA believes that during an emergency, when you're stressed out, you need more radiation. This is this. Okay. Um, new protective action guide. These guidelines would allow far more radioactive contamination in drinking water in the case of an emergency that would that what is currently allowed than what is currently allowed under the Safe Drinking Water Act. It's not replacing the Safe Water Drinking Act. It just, 
is creating new guidelines to give you more radiation during an emergency situation. They would allow levels of radioactivity in drinking water as much as 125 times higher than what is currently allowed. Yeah, okay. That's your gift during an emergency. More radiation in your water. The new guidance would permit levels of radiation exposure that are as many as 250 chest x-rays a year. Okay, well, we need laws and guidelines in place to protect us in case of an emergency, right? Yeah. So, does this proposal make any sense? We need laws and guidelines to protect us from our government officials and our governments, federal, state, local. Drinking water crisis, sparsely populated, low-income communities across the country suffer from polluted water and injustice expected to worsen under Trump? Well, based on my research, I have to agree. It looks like that's going to happen. And it may very well be happening deliberately so Americans get so fed up that they just say, let the private corporations take over our water. America got a D plus grade for our terrible water infrastructure. Um, the Environmental Working Group has a tap water database and I just scrolled through it. So, radioactive tap water, lead, farming and tap water, State of American Drinking Water. That's the one I clicked on. So what does it say? Oh, here is a data water database, the tap water database. Um, but let me just click on the State of American Drinking Water. When most Americans drink a glass of tap water, they're also getting a dose of industrial or agricultural contaminants linked to cancer, brain, and nervous system damage developmental defects, fertility problems, or hormone disruption. So we understand that all of this is intentional, but, you know, even when I came here to South Carolina, and it's not just South Carolina, my God, the water is the drinking water throughout our country has become so toxic. But why aren't Americans up in arms? So here, I turn on the tap water. There are times when I have to back away from the sink, from the faucet, because the smell of chlorine is so intense. Nobody drinks the water. A lot of people don't even cook with the water because it is so toxic. Unfortunately, they shower with it maybe many people have filters but I don't hear from anybody an outrage they pay through the nose for the water but there's no outrage they just accept this and I do think that that is a result of a thoroughly demoralized people the passing grades, the nation's drinking water supplies, actually they pass for the federal and state regulatory agencies. They have passing grades. Many of the 250 plus contaminants detected through water sampling and testing are at levels that are quote unquote legal under the Safe Drinking Water Act or state regulations, but they're well above levels scientific studies have found to pose health risks. But listen to this, the Environmental Protection Agency has not added a new contaminant to the list of regulated drinking water pollutants in more than 20 years. This inexcusable failure of the federal government's responsibility to protect public health means there are no legal limits for the more than 160 unregulated contaminants, the tests detected in the nation's tap water. So, all you have to do to find your state 
And this tap water database, it has not gone through every utility company in the country, but it has collected data from 50,000. And so what you do is, and I'll link below to everything, so I live in South Carolina. I click on South Carolina and here is the drinking water quality report for South Carolina and you can kick, click on large utilities, all utilities with violations, large utilities with violations and once you do um, then you can scroll on down and well you're going to want the violations so how about large utilities with violations? Large utilities that accumulated accrued the most violation points as of October 2014 to September 2017 in South Carolina and here they are. All of the utility companies, the location, the people served, and the violation points. 10, 5, 5, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. And contaminants found in South Carolina above health guidelines, people served, number of utilities, people served, number of utilities, contaminant. These are all the contaminants that were found. So, um, yeah, check out what your state utilities are serving you. Why are Texas's smaller utilities not cleaning up drinking water Texas? Dallas, Houston, yeah, you've got a problem. Radiation, radium contaminants. EPA data. Tap water in more than 1,000 communities tainted with lead above action levels. Uh, <laughs> 170 million. 170 million in U.S. drink radioactive tap water and the EPA wants to give us more. Trump nominee, fake data to hide cancer risk. And yep, that's true. That's true. Not going to read any of this. But Catherine Harnett White is the former chair of the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. She admitted in a 2011 interview that the commission falsified data to make it appear that communities with excessive radiation levels were below the EPA's limit. How do you like your Texas Commission on Environmental Quality? Great people, huh? You're Kathleen Harnett White. Falsified data, admitted it, and isn't Trump great? She's right in the EPA. Amazing. So, the falsified data to make it appear the communities with excessive radiation levels were below the EPA's limit. She said she did not believe the science of health effects of radiation. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. What do you do with these? Uh, 22,000 utilities serving over 170 million people in all 50 states reported the presence of radium in their water. Here's an interactive map. And boy, I can't get it to, uh, to um, go out far enough to see the whole country, but it is pretty amazing. All of these areas in the country all of these areas have levels of radium that uh, exceed the levels of the EPA. Come across this. 23 utility districts in Tennessee violated drinking water standard in 2017. 23 utility districts the violation stemmed from elevated levels of a contaminant in drinking water known as haleocetic acids. I'm just going to call them acids now. 
when consumed above the legal limit over many years, it increases the risk of cancer. And these acids are a disinfectant byproduct of chlorinating water. Okay, well, when I read that, and here I am, sometimes having to back away from the sink when I turn on the faucet because of how chlorinated it is. I did some research to find out. Yeah, South Carolina. South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control did a sampling which has indicated violation of the stage two disinfection by products rule. Our system exceeds the standard maximum contaminant level for haleocytic acids. Okay, well, all you have to do, I just did another, uh, I just threw in a water supply haleocytic acid to see. And North Carolina, Concord, you've got it. So all you have to do is put in a search bar, the, your town, your county, put in water supply and heliocytic acid. Helioacetic acid. And I have no doubt that water supplies, water supply companies, utilities, there's going to be many that reveal that the levels are higher than what is considered to be safe. But then I came across this. Small town South Carolina mayor won't let Flint water crisis researcher test wells for pollution. And so I was like, what? Denmark Mayor Gerald Wright said that Virginia Tech professor Mark Edwards, who actually did He's credited with helping to unravel the Flint, Michigan water crisis. And people in Denmark, South Carolina, contacted Edwards to test their water. And he found that there were levels of lead in the drinking water in homes in Denmark. So he went to the mayor and asked for permission to test the wells that are behind locked fences. And the mayor, Gerald Wright, said, how dare you? How dare you? I don't see the need to have someone from out of state check this. I have full faith in the folks, in the folks at the Department of Health and Environmental Control. I don't think they have any reason to give us bad information. They are qualified, so we don't need some outer stater to test our waters. These control freaks, these, these, uh, 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 you put people in positions of power and you really get to see their issues come out. Wow, wow. The people of Denmark want their water tested. And the mayor that's supposed to be representing him is refusing. Oh, <laughs> God. He, the mayor's refusal to, Allowed testing comes amid growing tensions over the water system in Denmark, a town of 3,300, about an hour's drive south of Columbia. South of Columbia actually has radioactive water. But the officials of the Bamberg County, I guess that's where Denmark is, um, county town say the water is safe. And the Department of Health and Environmental Control reported no problems this week. But some residents have complained about discolored water as well as lead pollution. Please, Mayor, let this guy test our water. No, I don't see any reason for it. Tests that researchers have conducted found a slightly higher percentage of homes with elevated lead levels in drinking water that is allowed by federal law. But the state tests have found lead at levels that are considered safe. So we have different state and federal levels Safety levels, they're different? How can that be? Well, they are. Okay. 
Lead is a toxic metal that causes brain damage in young children and nervous disorders in adults. And I think maybe that mayor has been drinking too much of his water because he may have a nervous system disorder. You can't test my water. Wright said Edward's efforts in Denmark are being driven by political rivals who are trying to make it appear that the town has a water crisis when it does not. It does not. The Department of Health and Environmental Control already has said the town's water is good to drink. To me, it's an insult. It's an insult <laughs> to our state's department. I'm going to get somebody else to check the water samples behind you. Huh. What? That's an insult. We know the motivation here. We know the motivation here for having that done. Are you kidding me? Crazy people. The, but listen to this. The Department of Health and Environmental Control says Denmark has passed recent tests for lead in its drinking. However, the state has different levels that are considered to be safe than our federal levels, but so, but the Department of Health and Environmental Control said we have no problems with Edwards checking the Denmark's water. Go ahead. We have informed Dr. Edwards that we have no objections to him conducting sampling of the city of Denmark's public wells, but the mayor won't have it. Yes, the mayor won't have it. We will not allow water testing. And uh, Meg Morgan Adams, the Adisto River Keepers Director, I don't know what that's about, but she said, what's the harm in allowing someone to come and test water quality? And this is Edwards. This was a perfect picture because that's the end of the article. What's the harm? Hey, 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 man, come on. Let me just test the water. People are crazy. We have too many crazy people in our country. We have really crazy people who are mayors, town council members. Everybody in Denmark should march into this mayor's office and get him, you know, underneath his armpits. You pick him up out of his seat and you just walk him out of the building and drop him in the street. That's it. Get rid of them. Anyway, I'm going to link below to everything. Yeah, uh, we've got a major problem. Toxins coming at us from every source. And it is deliberate, and people have to get outraged. Because without outrage, it's only going to get worse. All links are below. And you guys have a great weekend.